Hey, it's Vern from Usawa Fitness, and I'm about to unbox and build the Sunny Health and Fitness Squat Assist Row and Ride. Let's check it out. So I was searching Amazon looking for something to get, and I came across this thing, right? And we often talk about balling on a budget, and I really wanted to find something that we could get into our home garage and uh, backyard gyms that was cheap that would also be a good cardio piece of equipment. And I thought this might be a great option. Obviously, that's a great option. That's $700. This is a $100 option. So, looks like right off the top, we got some instructions. Okay, got some instructions right here. We got the computer. Okay, got the computer. Let's see what this is. This is, these are the pedals. These are the pedals, labeled nice left and right. We're going to look at that a lot of times. A lot of times when you using pedals like this, like with that bike, if you put them on the wrong way, you'll strip it. So make sure, you know, a lot of times you hear me throw the uh, directions to the side, and I'm probably going to do that again here today. But one place you want to be careful is when you're installing your pedals. Okay, we got the seat. Ooh, this is nice too. All right, this seat feels good, y'all. Yeah, this seat feels good. I like that. You know, that's a big one. When you start um, working out and that butt start hurting, man, there ain't no punk, so I like that. Okay? Then let's see what we got. Man, this look like it's gonna be a pretty easy install. We don't have much. These are the handlebars, okay? Got your handlebars. Open that on up. I'm just gonna tear this stuff up on open as I go, man. I ain't gonna play with this. We're gonna get this thing built. And then I'm gonna use it for a couple weeks. And then I'm gonna come back and let y'all know whether or not it's dope. You see it, Jamie? The blade. I'm still, uh, that's right. Yeah, I still salty on how she used to clown me on my knife. Then you got that little dainty pair of scissors. But your boy is coming correct now. Because Usawa Fitness is almost up to 2,000 subscribers. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate that for real. <laughs> now, y'all know I like to clown around a little bit. Because I love what I do. It's fun to me. And I love being able to present y'all with videos like this. And, you know, if it ain't fun, I don't want to do it. So I want to have fun giving y'all great content that um, you find useful. Oh, it's light too, y'all. Y'all see me lifting it with one hand. So it's, it's going to be, this is going to be good. All right, I'm going to have to cut all these things open here real quick. Get all this off. Who, now, now, I mess around and cut my hand off messing with Jamie talking about I need a bigger... All right, see? <laughs> exactly what I'm talking about. Mess around, get hurt. I need to have a little dainty pair of scissors because your boy is not good. I, just, I got good at building stuff because of the Usawa Fitness video re review channel. I really didn't do a whole lot of building stuff before this. But I'm going to go ahead and cut everything up. All right, let's go ahead and open our tools up. Now, a lot of times I would do this with like my own tools, but sometimes when I'm doing a review video, especially if I'm doing one where I'm doing a build, I'll try to use what, they, what came with it simply because uh, sometimes people don't have all the tools. Now, if you're doing something like building a fitness reality 18 XLT Supermax Power Cage, you don't want to do that because you're doing all those little buttons, you know, those tiny little screws. But let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove these guys. So instead of putting these in the, um, instead of putting these in the package, they just leave them installed so you know exactly where they go. But they all alike. So I would just tell you to go ahead and remove all of them um, as soon as you get 
you know, ready to start installing the bike, okay? Now, this is going to be your main frame. And these two pieces at the bottom, you could already see that, that those are how... Those are what you're going to attach. Gonna attach here and down there. Um, so let's attach these guys. I'm just going to flip it. So first thing is, you're just going to push one of these puppies straight through, all right? Put it down for a second. Just push one of these guys straight through. Just like that, grab your base, put it in, take one of these guys, put it on, and then grab a bolt. And I'm not going to tighten everything up real tight right away. It's going to kind of just hand tighten everything first. Man. I'm about to start getting, about to start getting mad. <laughs> Cause it's acting like it's gonna be harder than I want it to be. It's not hard, y'all. It's just that I don't read, I don't read a whole lot of instructions. And uh hopefully, because you watch this video, you won't have to either. But I will make sure that everything is right before. I put the video out so you guys know that, you know, you could trust what I did. But I glanced over it. I'm going to put it all together. And then I'm going to um, make sure that it's right for y'all. Okay? Very simple. We'll tighten those up in a second. Going to take the other one and put it on. I'm actually going to just go ahead and put both of these through right away. And go ahead and push, put them on over here. You see how it's getting a lot faster? That's because I've already done it. And because you... Hopefully, because you watch me do it, it's going to be even faster because you're going to be like, don't do what that fool just did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm doing this video on the fly. I've, I've tried to do some of the videos where I kind of write out the script for you guys so that it's, everything is super clear. But you know what? I like putting some little bit more personality in these videos. So y'all get to see me for who I really am, too. So everything is always really me, but it's a lot less clean when I do them like this. Now I'm going to go ahead. I hand tighten those up, and now I'm just going to use this little supply wrench to crank these down a little bit. This might be the kind of stuff you could get close up on, Mikey. On the, when I get this next one. I hate little tools like this. I mean, I have a whole kit of tools that would make this a lot easier. You guys have seen me use them in a lot of my videos. But like I said, I'm doing this with the supplied tools to give you guys a, a, a chance to see what it's like in case that's all you got, you know? Um, that's why we did it this way. All right, so there we go. We've attached both stabilizers onto the bench. All right, so it says, take out the bolt number three nut uh, six from the bag. That is going to be these two guys. And we're going to insert them here, okay? So how do we get that to fit? Oh, there it is. 
I see what's up. All right. I got it. Call off the wolves. <laughs> this guy moves up and down. All right. So this guy is how you get this to kind of meet here. Okay, y'all. And when you look at this, there's a square end. And then the other side, there's a round hole. Okay. And the bottom of this screw actually has a square part. So you know that that is where this goes because it's going to lock in there, okay? Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, line this up. Got to kind of, you're going to have to adjust this guy until you find, until you find that hole. I bet this is probably like the hardest, hardest part of this build. I just want to check something real quick. Dang, it's super tight. Yeah, so it's very tight. So what I'm going to suggest you do is, oh, unless, yeah, oh, there it is. And now it went in. Okay, I, and, and if you look, there's some little black pieces that were kind of like left over from the mold that um, was like not allowing me to push that through. So just give it a hard push before you start trying to put the screw through all of these different pieces here, okay? So now when I put this in, it slid, it slid right through. I knew something was up, I could tell. It was just like the mold was still a little bit, um, wasn't quite perfect at the time. So no big deal. No big deal. We got it now, y'all. Now we can put this piece on. Go ahead and tighten him up. All right. So now we got that piece in, all right? We're feeling good about it. Loosen the pull-out knobs for the, from the pedal connection to Insert handlebar to, okay, so that's what we just removed. Uh, okay, so now this is the handlebar to, we're going to go ahead and insert this guy. Okay, you insert this with the holes facing up because that's what, you, that's how you're going to set, you know, depending on who's using it and how tall you are, that's how you're going to, um, that's what you're going to use to kind of set this in, all right? This is at the max height for the tallest person. I'm just going to push it down once since I'm not going to be in that group. We insert it, and now we got our handlebar, okay? I appreciate y'all coming, y'all. This is my review channel where I not only review exercise equipment, but also use some of my 10 years experience to show you how to use some of it. And if y'all like what I'm doing, please go ahead and hit the like button. Y'all, it helps my small channel out more than I could ever tell you. And I really appreciate it. Okay. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and put these guys on. Yeah, real easy build, y'all. Real easy build. All we got left to put on there is the computer and the seat. Now, I'm going to be honest. I did this with this little piece of gear right here, but I'm going to go back in later, and I'm going to tighten all this down with my real tools. I just, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I can't even do it. I can't be over here using these tools because they don't feel like they, they don't make me feel good about this. Uh, they, they tight enough and everything, but you know what? 
once you get yourself some tools, you're going to want to do it with some tools. You feel me? Over here with this, man. No, I ain't even doing it. <laughs> I ain't even doing it, y'all. All right. All right. We're getting real close, everybody. I, th I think we just got to put the computer in the seat. Okay. It says the next step is to put the computer on. I mean, I might as well go and open it up and put the battery in it. Um, it, can't, it comes with a battery. Mm. What does that say? Bone Ultra Alkaline Battery. And I probably should go ahead and get it on my refrigerator and get a real battery right now because I ain't never heard of no bone, <laughs> bone electronics. And then you just kind of slide this on just like this, y'all. It's real simple. I think maybe it's like a little timer or something. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's super easy. Okay. Attach the seat cushion. So all you got to do is uh, go ahead and uh, we're just going to put it on any position right now because I don't know where ours is going to be. Okay. Boom. There we go. Seat on. Now we're going to have to do these. Um, the pedals. Once you got it moving, you're going to put this guy on and then you're going to tighten it up because you obviously the pedal can spin. So you just put it in a little bit. And in this case, I'm, I'm going, uh, what clockwise. Oh, man, I don't like using these kind of tools, y'all. I'm gonna keep it real. We almost there. Okay. Boom. All right. One pedal down. We're gonna get this other one. Now we're going to unhook the exercise bands from the seat. Okay, here they are. This is your exercise bands. And basically, when you want to add some resistance, you're just going to push one down like that. Okay? You're just going to push them on. And now we got three resistance, uh, three resistance bands. Now we got one resistance band. So... When you're ready to row and ride, don't set yourself up for the okie doke. Because I just stepped on this, and I realized that, you know, unless you want to get a little spanky spank, you're going to want to sit on this thing before you put your leg over there. Because I already just noticed something. I'm so glad I didn't do it. Mikey, my cameraman, right there. But if I would have stepped on this mug, you hit that, yeah. <laughs> you're like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, you know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all some freaks out there, but we ain't doing that. This is a clean, clean channel right here. All right, so we're good to go, y'all. We got it lined up, and there we go. That's how this thing works. Ooh, man, it don't take long at all either um, to start feeling that. So what's nice is we got some nice, I can feel this in my quads, I promise you. I, instantly, y'all, I'm going to make Mikey get on here too. Dog, no, wait till you see how fast this start to feel in your quads. Dang, my stuff burning right now. All right, and now some of the nice things that we could be doing is doing some rows, right? Getting the back, engaging those back muscles, getting those lats in the game, okay? We could even probably get some biceps. Mm, I don't know about the biceps. I'm going to have to wait. Man, I'm tripping on how fast a lot of y'all, okay, a lot of y'all gonna love this. It's a decent little piece, y'all. I wanna see what this thing has to offer over the next few weeks, few days, or whatever. Um, but I think it's gonna be a nice little piece to add to my home gym uh, because I'll probably use this mainly in here or in the summer once it's nice and I'm outside working with some of my friends and clients, this is gonna be a great way for me to warm people up. Let's jump on to you know, the squat assist. Ride for five minutes, and then let's get into our leg workout or any workout. But what I like about this, especially some of you guys who are only doing weight, you know, uh, strength training, this is a way to add some cardio into your um, program for 100 bucks. 
that 700, 100, still gonna give you a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of cardio real quick, depending on how hard you wanna go. So always trying to get y'all uh, some opportunities to ball on a budget and add to your home and garage gems. I hope y'all like this one. If you do, make sure you hit the like sign for me. It helps this small channel out a lot. I appreciate all the support y'all always giving me. Love and peace, everybody. Out. Thank you.